friends welcome back to my channel now I came again with a new job opening in Air Arabia as a lead regulatory affairs so apart from this if you wish to build your career as a HR then we have something new for you for more information please contact me for this so let's start the video nominated by Air Arabia the lead regulatory affairs shall monitor and verify all activities in the area of flight operations ground operations flight training and engineering maintenance team ensure all are being carried under the supervision of relevant nominated post holder in compliance with air arabia policies and regulatory bodies so your key responsibilities are assist line manager to ensure compliance with all applicable operation regulatory requirements across air arabia group then partners with stakeholders to facilitate and support the uh, deployment of qss related uh, policy across the hub then monitor and advise on all new regulations and subsequently guides on preparation for new policies, coordinates and follows with all hubs on all IOSM matters are applicable. Then advices as assigned by your line manager on projects. Conduct necessary assessments for the SMS to identify hazards and risk. Then follow up on all related findings closure with adequate CAPA. Then you have to ensure that safety manuals, risk registers and documents are continuously and updated timely. Then applicable required requirements or relevant authority regulations and ad uh, additional standards set by Air Arabia. You have to monitor the annual audit, inspections, plans, identify non um, conformities problems or any deficiency if arises then monitor and assure that corrective actions are timely taken and effective by the responsible line manager conduct periodical checks for all hubs safety management system effectiveness then ensure all lessons learned in safety quality and security are shared with all hubs and considered then monitor uh, safa ratio of each hub and recommends necessary measures if improvement required then let's talk about some qualification so aircraft maintenance engineer license is required bachelor degree in aircraft engineering or aeronautical engineering is required then a diploma or certificate in related field or atpl uh, license is required then with eight years of working experience in different disciplines in the aviation industry is required minimum four years of at least leading the uh, any experience in quality and safety compliance is required then must have completed formal aeronautical maintenance training okay then certificate related to auditing uh, quality insurance or compliance is highly desirable project management certificate death uh, knowledge of ICAO is required and experience in airline documentation and record control system technical knowledge and and relative exposure to aircraft maintenance is a plus then extensive knowledge in regulatory bodies rules and regulations then experience in managing and risk auditing authorities manufacturers and OEMS standard requires so for this you will get uh, some benefits like dental insurance uh, life cover insurance some pension schemes and some uh, good travel packages so for this if you love this you can go to the career page of air arabia and apply for this and for more information please subscribe thank you